for this example, we're going to solve for x. The equation says the square root of x plus 3 plus 2 equals 7. So in order to solve for x, first we're trying to get x alone. And to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is get this radical alone on this side. So I'm going to subtract the 2 from both sides so that all we have on this side is square root of x plus 3 equals 7 minus 2 is 5. Now, to get x alone, we can't subtract the 3 because the 3 is under the radical. So we have to get rid of the square root first. And the opposite of a square root is squaring both sides because the square root and the square will cancel out. And all you'll have on this side is x plus 3. And then equals 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. Now we're going to subtract 3 to isolate the x. And we get x equals 22. Now, that's our tentative answer until we check it. We always want to check it using the exact equation that we started with and not manipulating it at all. So we're going to plug in 22 for our x. So the square root of 22 plus 3 plus 2 equals 7. 22 plus 3 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. So we have 5 plus 2 equals to 7. 5 plus 2 does equal 7, so we get 7 equals 7, which is a true statement, which means that this is our final answer.